What's up everyone? We are back with another taste test video. We are back with another snack crates and this one is from the UK. So the one great thing about these is because we live in Canada, this company is from Markham, Ontario, which is up near Toronto. So they offer free shipping for us, which is great. So I don't know if that's all Canada wide or just if you're in Ontario, but it is $23 for the smallest one, which is what we choose. It has five to six snacks inside and includes free shipping. So we've been trying to do taste tests for a while with different subscriptions. And if it's coming from the United States, coming into Canada usually costs a lot for shipping, which means we're not gonna bother with it. Mm -hmm. So this here to find this in Ontario, we are just thrilled. We did do the taste test for the one that is in Turkey, which was awesome. So this one is filled with all snacks from the UK. So let's just open it up here. The cool thing about this is that there are a lot of facts. So whenever you first open it up, it says the UK, and then inside is all the snacks. If I flip this up here, it does show all of the different facts about the UK inside the sleeve, which is very, very cool. So that is something that you don't typically see with all different uh, subscription boxes. Usually they just put all the snacks inside and they're done. Mm -hmm. This here, they actually take care. They print out a bunch of facts about the country that you're going to be trying all their snacks for. So mm -hmm. that's a very cool concept. Um, I'll let you go first. Let's pick the thing on the top and get it out of the way. Yeah. Because I'm not a fan of this whatsoever. <laughs> I've talked about this in years ago in different taste tests. So Yeah, so this is um, Skip's Light and Melty Prawn Cocktail. I don't like shrimp. I don't like prawn flavored snacks. I know the UK do. Um, I forgot the UK did whenever I ordered this, but I wasn't expecting one. Hmm. So I will try them, but I've mm. always hated them. You know, I'm not going to lie. It kind of smells good. Yeah, but you like seafood and shrimp and I don't. I'm going to try just because that's part of the video. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, yum. <laughs> Come on, you gotta try it. I love you. Love <laughs> you. You know what? Not bad. Yeah, I'd snack on these. I wouldn't. <laughs> hmm. That's disgusting. It kind of has a ketchup chip flavor aftertaste, yeah. but I think that's the cocktail. I was gonna say it has like a yeah, a ketchupy vinaigrette. <coughs> I don't like them. Hmm. Pass. That's gross. <laughs> oh, you wanna pick the next one? Yeah. I just wanted to get that out of the way first. All I right. seen that when I opened the box. Jaffa cakes. Uh, I don't know what that is. The original. Okay. Let's see. Something tells me it's going to be orange chocolate because it looks like that based on the packaging, but I've also never had these, so I don't know. Ooh, yeah, you'd be right. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. We don't like orange chocolate flavored stuff. Oh, it's cookie. Do you want me to try it first? Yeah, go ahead. I didn't want to. <laughs> Do you want, you could have just bit off this one. Mm. I don't like it. <laughs> um, the cookie tastes amazing, the chocolate tastes amazing, but with that orange, it's not strong. It's just, I don't like it. I'll put that back. Yeah. Um, you know. The chocolate even tastes artificial, like not a good chocolate you know i'm sure people who like orange might like this yeah people that love orange <laughs> that might like it but like orange chocolate flavor i like yeah. orange but i don't like yeah. orange chocolate yeah, flavored orange stuff chocolate. but that's a pass Ew. um this here oh i forgot this was in it so this is the one i was joking with you about so uh, you're not gonna like this at all so you want to hold this all get it situated um it's called sherbet fountain um, looking at the packaging, I know exactly what this is. She doesn't, so 
uh, twist to open. You can see what it is inside, right? For our viewers, do you know what this is looking at it? Okay, so let me explain mm. it. Um, I hate black licorice. Do you? Yeah. Okay, so what it is, <laughs> I don't know if it's just popular in the UK. Um, I will say I don't think it's expired, but I don't think it's right because I'll kind of show here. What the theory is, what you're supposed to do, it's this black licorice thing, mm -hmm. and there's powder in here. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to lick the black licorice, put it in the powder, oh. and then you lick it. It's kind of like, um, not pixie sticks, but there's something that we have yeah. that are kind of like it, like a dipping stick. Yeah. But it's black licorice. Mm. But if you can okay. see, when I pull it out, all of the powder is hard crusty on it and if I pull this out it's gonna just go everywhere so yeah it's I don't think it's expired but the powder's gone hard on it I can't even get the the stick out which I'm gonna say is a good thing because neither one of us like black licorice so I'm gonna put that back like that it's not a snack that we overall would like but I can't even get it out because all the powder is hard around it and crumbly so if I pull it out it's just gonna go everywhere and make a mess I'm just gonna say <laughs> that's the worst snack <laughs> I don't like black licorice and yeah. I forgot about that until we just op open this up. Oh, prawn burps. What's this? Oh, millions. So this is funny, they called it millions. Um, it literally looks like, what's the one we have? Nerds. Nerds, yes. Looks like nerds. It's strawberry flavor. Um, millions of fun. The UK, they name things weirdly. Some things. Some things I agree with, but um, sprinkles in the UK is apparently called hundreds and thousands. <laughs> because there's hundreds of thousands of them on a cake. So to call this millions, it's odd mm -hmm. to me. Um, if I open this up, they're just going to fly everywhere because there's millions. <laughs> Softer than a nerd? Yeah, it's way softer. Nerds are hard. This is soft and chewy. Really strawberry. Strawberry-y? Stra yeah. Yeah. Strawberry. But because it's so soft, it's already stuck in my teeth. Mm. And I only had a few. Yeah. I get stuck. Um, mm. They're not bad, but... Not bad, but definitely not something I would yeah. purchase. Yeah. Um... So far, this box isn't looking so hot. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've had uh, the first three ones we didn't like. That one there, surprisingly, that one would be first place right now. Well, for you. I didn't mind the prawn ones. Oh, God damn. <laughs> okay. This, Ooh, okay. This one here we've <laughs> had before. At least I have. Have you? Um, yeah, I've had a crunchy. Okay, you gotta, you gotta show what it is first before you say it. <laughs> It is a crunchy bar, uh, which we do have in Canada, and I absolutely love them. So, a lot of the UK chocolate bars and that, especially if it's Cadbury, we do have stuff that's either very similar or the exact same name. Um, that's the benefit of being in Canada. It sounded weird. <laughs> First place. So classic, so iconic. Mm -hmm. mm. What's the center called? I can never remember. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say. Ooh, honeycomb center. Yeah. Mm. So it's just classic to me. I'm going to put that back in the box. That's first place. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? First place. Definitely first place. Uh, really good. Very memorable. If that's the right word. Um, we have one snack left, and, oh, <laughs> some of their flavors for their chips is just weird, and they call it crisps over there, by the way. Yeah. Which is fine. But, uh, <laughs> Hula Hoops Puffed Grilled Beef. That's definitely not a crisp or chip flavor that we would have over here. Well, um. It's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Grilled beef. Grilled beef.
Wow. Okay. That's interesting. I was, whenever we ordered these, we ordered and we chose turkey. And then we got a special offer for the UK one. I was worried about turkey, <laughs> which we had, and that was amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, we loved everything about it. The Turkish snacks were delightful. Mm -hmm. The UK, I was not terrified of. But. Until we got the box and we're through the box and we're like, eh. So, these are the hoops. <laughs> it literally looks like and smells like, oh, what is it? The pig, uh, pork rinds. Pork rinds? Oh, yeah. It yeah. looks like and smells like pork That's rinds. That's true, yeah. Which is why I hate pork rinds. Yeah, I don't like them either. It tastes so much better than it looks and smells. Yeah. But it still tastes like pork rinds to me. Maybe it's beef rinds. <laughs> hmm. It's supposed to be like a healthy sort of snack, right? It says only 71 calories. Yeah. 71 calories. Let me buy a bag. Oh. Um, <laughs> I will say. Wheat, whole wheat flavor. Yeah. I don't know. It's not bad. I will say out of all these UK snacks... Not the worst. No, not the worst. Surprisingly, even though I'm not a fan of them, they're second place. I've had a lot of UK snacks over the years with taste test videos and different things. This box as a whole was among some of the worst. Mm. Um, the licorice candy, even if it was doable and we were able to actually try it, neither one of us would have liked it. We don't like black no. licorice. Thank God it was, it's not expired, but it's all, all the powder is hard around the licorice, so we can't even take it out. The prawn snacks, no, no, no. Gross. What was the other one? The, the orange chocolate cookie, gross. Just, well, I guess not gross, but not, not for, for us. us. Yeah. So these here are going to be second place, would you say? Um, for me, third. What's second? Second for me is the prawn snacks. I thought that was first for you. No, the crunchies first. Yeah, crunchies first. Yeah. These are second. Prawn is down at the bottom. For you. <laughs> I mean, I think last place is, to me, the prawn, the licorice, the chocolate. Yeah, the mm -hmm. chocolate orange cookie. That's all near the bottom. So not the best UK snacks that we've yeah. received, but still a lot of fun to get these snacks. And for only $23 free shipping, I think it's something that we may want to continue. Definitely worth it. Yeah, definitely worth <laughs> it. So each month, so the first time you order, the first box you get to choose where it's coming from, like what snacks are going to be inside from what country. Then they might give you an offer for the UK or, you know, other countries. Under, yeah. But normally each month is a mystery to you until you receive it. So I did keep the subscription active. So the end of the month, we should be receiving another one, but we don't know where from. So that is a really cool concept mm -hmm. with them. That it's all, <clears throat> and I absolutely love compared to Munch Pack that this box is all from the UK. Our previous one was all from Turkey. In Munch Pack, it's just different ones from all around the world, and to me, having that mix, it's unique for different variety, but I love the idea of having a whole box for, uh, full of snacks from the same country, mm. so you get a real taste for the country, not just different snacks from around the world. Mm -hmm. So, I think we're going to continue. Mm -hmm. um, definitely a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love doing these. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to see what next month's surprise is going to be. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys want to see us doing more of these, let us know too. Because I think we're just going to stick with it. Because we absolutely love it. And that's why we love making content like this. So. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and let us know if there's like a certain country you want yeah. us to do. And we can see if that's possible. Yeah, because yeah. we can order a specific one too. We might keep this subscription active so we can see different ones. Mm -hmm. But we can also go and do a new subscription and order a specific box. 
mm-hmm. um, if certain ones are available. I know whenever we ordered the Turkish one, the UK was available. Uh, Philippines was Philippines, available. Yeah. I don't know what else. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I don't drawing a, I'm drawing a blank, but there was there was a decent variety. Yeah, yeah. there was maybe uh, I think Pakistan, maybe Pakistan. Yeah. Yeah, but we chose Turkish because we haven't had too many items from Turkey, so mm-hmm. that was really cool. And then we got this deal for the UK, so hopefully this trend continues and we get some really cool stuff for the next couple months. But we'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Comment down below if you liked this video, and we'll see you in the next one.